Damage we've seen from this storm is unprecedented. And the storm is not out of our area just yet. Meteorologist Kate Bilo has been tracking it all day and into the night. So, Kate, are we starting to see things calm down? We are starting to see things calm down. We're seeing the back edge finally of the remnant low, the remnant moisture from what was Hurricane Ida finally move through the area right now. And within the next hour or so, most of this will be moving offshore. And then we're going to go back out and assess the damage. But we also have to deal with stream, creek, and river flooding across the area even into the day tomorrow. So that's the problem when you talk about waterway flooding is that oftentimes we don't see these crests until the next day. So you think things are done, the nice weather returns, but you're still dealing with the risk for flooding and possible uh, people that live along these waterways could st see, still see water moving into their basement. We could still be dealing with road closures even as the rain moves out. So here's the last of it. The back edge of Ida's moisture finally just pushing through the city of Philadelphia. We still have some embedded downpours here over South Jersey, but mainly in areas that did not see much rain earlier today and thus are not in a risk zone for flash flooding. We do still have a couple of flash flood warnings in effect, namely right around the city and nearby northwest suburbs. But again, you you can see the heaviest rain right now is over portions of Ocean County and Atlantic County. There are a few heavy downpours back here in southern Gloucester, Camden counties, and western uh, Atlantic County as well. And still a few showers down around Morris River and into Dover. But for the most part, the heaviest rain has pushed out. We're seeing the final back edge of the heaviest rain push out of Bucks County as well. And now things are drying out. But still, a number of active flash flood warnings currently in effect. We've been hearing from, from emergency management crews on the ground that people are still driving into to floodwaters and getting stranded and then having to be rescued. So even though the rain has ended, even if you're in Bucks County, if you're in Chester County, it's not raining and you come up on a flooded road, don't think, oh, because it stopped raining, I can drive right through it. Even overnight, even early tomorrow morning, if you see a road covered in water, don't try to drive through it. There is still going to be flooding occurring and you just don't want to put your life at risk just to go down that particular roadway. Here's future weather. Again, the last of the downpours moving out of here by 1230. You can see just a few lingering showers by 1 or 2 a.m. This has moved on out and behind it, we're going to tap into this nice, cool, dry breeze from the north and west. That is really going to help dry things out tomorrow by 8 or 9 a.m. The sun is shining and tomorrow is going to feel like a completely different day. If it weren't for all the damage we'll still be assessing all over the region, it would be a beautiful day to be out and about. But let's take a look at some of our stream and river flood areas. These are some major waterways across the region. Anything you see in red here is a major flood stage a forecast major flood stage. The Brandywine Creek at Downingtown right now is about four feet over its record flood crest. Major flooding is occurring there right now. We're also seeing major flooding at the Brandywine Creek at Chad's Ford. Major flooding also the Perkyoman Creek at Greaterford and also the Schuylkill River uh, here up near Norristown, Pottstown at least, seeing some mi major flooding up toward the Pottstown area that way and the Schuylkill River and uh, Redding also experiencing moderate flooding. The Schuylkill River at Philadelphia, 30th Street and near Maniunk, moderate flooding. There may be some road closures near Maniunk as that river begins to crest and we've got some minor flooding here down along the Chester Creek. So a lot of these major waterways like the Schuylkill River will not crest until throughout the day tomorrow. Major flooding is still likely near 30th Street. It's right on the border between major and moderate. Forecast crest now 13 and a half feet. At that level, Locust Street will flood, the Schuylkill River Trail will flood in spots, and the road that passes under 30th Street will also flood. So if you once again see flooding on a road, stay off the roads if possible, turn around, find a different way, never drive around barriers or cones. They're there for a reason. And if you live along one of these waterways, you may want to remove items from your basement. This could still lead to basement flooding tomorrow. Here's the good news. Dew points are already dropping. Drier air moving in behind this system. The dew points down to 63 in Philadelphia. Dew points in the mid 70s down the shore and dew points tomorrow will drop to the low 50s. That is going to feel amazing. The coolest, most crisp weather we have felt in weeks upon weeks. Once this ends tonight, tomorrow turns out to be a beautiful day. 75, mostly sunny, breezy and less humid. Friday is a taste of fall. Morning lows in the 50s, afternoon highs in the 70s. Saturday is a stunner to start the Labor Day weekend. And Sunday and Monday looking great as well with nothing but a spotty thunder shower. So a big pattern change in the wake of Ida. Much better weather lies ahead. We'll be right back.